Thank you, Paz, for blessing us with that very ethnic Latino vibe, especially with the cumbia in the beginning. And we have our second special guest in the building. We got one half of Los Negros, Shani Shang. What's good? What's going on, everyone? Chilling, dude. How's everything with you, man? I'm chilling, chilling, man. Uh, it's good you? to like uh, relink with you down back in Miami. I, I love know. Miami. But no, I love Miami, but New York was fun, man. Yeah, New York was awesome. It, it was dope. Oh, you yeah, yeah, hook, hook you up with the headphone real quick. It was good. It was good out of being in New York. It was a good vibe. You know, they saw the homie Velvet Jones out there as well. Shout out to Velvet. He's actually going to be playing here this weekend. Somewhere in Brooklyn. Shout out to Homie Velvet Jones. Uh, that's a movie that's coming out. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome oh, yeah, I saw that. I think that's. You can call it. We just named in the mixtape right there. Airbnb, Airbnb, Airbnb jams. Airbnb <laughs> jams. That's like that's what's up, dude. I, I totally fuck with that. And it's like you know what I mean. I feel like from Miami. It's like while I was there, I was like everybody here is from home. Yeah. And it's it's the home. It's, it was like no one really hit each other up. Like you know what? It's like one of those things. Like hey, let's all just go to New York and just set our vibe. And to be honest with you, like I have family in New York, and I as well as you do. Mm -hmm. So what what borough were you residing in? Brooklyn. Um, to the fullest. Born and born and not exactly raised, but born and half raised in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah what part of Brooklyn, dude? Uh, Flat, Flatbush. Yeah, it was Flatbush. Yeah. Um, it was. Yeah. Well, like, while I was there, I was continuously finding out about other Miami acts that were in New York. I was like, oh, Jeremy's here. Oh, Guap was here at the Emerson. Oh, Velvet Jones is here. Oh, DJ is here. And it was just like the list was going on and on. I was like, everybody here is an import. Yeah, it was like, and the funny thing is, like, um, shout out to um, my boy John Sean for booking me. He wasn't there. Shout out to Triple C as well. He's the other resident DJ at the Emerson. Like, uh, you know, like they've been asking me, like, oh, whenever you want to go to Brooklyn, just let me know. And I was on school break, and I'm like, I gotta go to Brooklyn, man. Like a week before school starts, and just you know, plant the seed. Meet the right people and whatever. Yeah, man. Wow. Shout out uh, Chuck the Funk from FSQ for having us out there and smoking with the Sexual in the good room. That was awesome. And yeah, full circle, we're trying to come back here in October. Fall as well, so we can see everyone at Halloween. Yeah, I was like, I'm tired of the same. Dude, I was thinking the same thing because I was talking to my homie, he's like, oh, like, uh, he, he's going to go back. Here in Miami is cool and stuff like that, but it's like, it's the same places. Well, that's the last time people in New York can come out without having to bundle up. That's the, that's the last time the girls can take the, take the boys out. <laughs> 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 that's it. That's the best way to explain it. The last, okay, I, I totally agree with you with that. So <laughs> it means a lot more to them, you know? Like, summer is over, I guess, for Labor Day, but like, the weather is going to change for them drastically. The next holiday they have after Halloween is like, ah, uh, fuck that. With Thanksgiving, <laughs> it could be whatever. Not because I was talking to my dude, like, shout out to, uh, to, to Ivan, uh, he's an Airbnb host, because I stayed in Wonders Road one night. And he was in and they tell me, like, uh, out there, like, it slows down as, as soon as it hits, like, New Year's Eve. It's like January, February, that's when it gets real cold. It's like, oh, it's frigid. It's frigid. 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 That's when people over there start coming to Miami. Yo, what's up? Yeah, man. Like, shout out Soul Clap. Hopefully, we can get in for you know, Black Flamingo and a lot while we're up there. We're also trying to get some Boston gigs with our boys Cakewalk and Chaz Bronze up there. We're trying to blow up Chile. <laughs> trying to be internationally known. I feel you, man. I actually, it's funny you brought that because I was talking to a homie of mine who's like from Boston. And, uh, right? Boston. And while I was there, there's a bunch of people in their cars who drove up from Boston for Afro. Um, Ah, the name is blowing my mind right now. Is it Afro? I'm saying right, Afro Punk. Afro Punk, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. dude, I didn't know. Like, I th I just picked the 24th because, like, you know what? This like a week that like, I was doing dealing with school. Why are tickets so expensive? Exactly. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like, oh man, this crap. Oh, and I was like, dude, whatever, man. It wasn't a big deal. I ended up getting a free ticket, but I was, I had homies. I didn't, I didn't want to be the only one going by myself to flex by myself. Yeah. Punk Master Flex. Yeah. Flex, flex. <laughs> <laughs> 
you can write it, drop a bomb on it. <laughs> Yo, wow. Well, well, like, <laughs> dude, the whole time, like, while I was there, I didn't listen to Hot 97. I was literally just, like, listening to, like, a lot of them bow. Can I was, you? yeah, there's so many, like, uh, shows that I was just shazamming. I have so much to download. Dude, I just stayed, I just bought, I just bought records. Mm. Right? That's all I did, dude. I hit up, like, uh, what's fuck, Human Head, uh, Superior Elevation, The Academy. A1. Mm. You told me about yeah, that. Shout out to Patty for my A1. That's A1. And I was at the turntable lab, but that shit was like, it was what? It was like too pricey. It was mm. like, I was going to pay like more than 50 dollars for it. But I did buy like, uh, built, um, built for Cuban Links. I bought that. Oh, nice. I had to, bro. I was in New York. <laughs> so, actually, this transition why uh, the project that you have coming up, your summer project, the last time you came here was, you know, because you're no long. <laughs> right here before, uh, you did your summer mixtape. It was the first one, right? Mm-hmm. That's his part. Yeah, we're coming sequel. back for it. Yeah, the sequel. Um, so, so what's like creative process that you went through when you made this? Um, for that one, it was a. Dang, I'm giving away the secret now. That one was a bunch of, like every song I did, half and half, and I made it kind of. Um, like if you listen to every song, it has a secret song in it. And I kind of made the secret song a different genre. So like maybe it'll start off housey and then it'll end in hip hop, or it'll start off. It, it was always based in house, but then it'll end up uh, end up somewhere else. So if you listen to the whole song instead of it just fading out and being boring, there's like a little secret at the end. And just trying to like push myself, you know. And even like our name Los Negros, you know, it's coming from like. Uh, you know, like being put in a box, like being expected to be that token kind of music coming from us. So instead of just being afraid of doing that, I kind of just play with that idea sometimes, like trying to live up to what's expected of you. You do something dope, sometimes trying to like flip that on itself and say like, oh, you expect that of me? Well, then I'm gonna give you this in spite of that. And you know, that might come out dope too. So just a lot of that pushing myself like that. Amen. Um, you don't that, that's why I, I do the show not to be put in a box someone asks me so what do you play on the show and I'm like everything what do you mean everything as long as it feels good yeah it's feel good music it's like yep. hey, you know what feel good music that's what I make and that's what you stick to yep as yeah. long as it feels good that's just the that's zone. all that matters dude because like uh, I was talking to so, like I was at a DJ event because I'm part of this record pool and stuff like that the DJ City record pool and I got an email mm. about like this happening I'm like yo let me just go and see like who are the DJs that hold this crew and you know it's cool like everyone just like you know it's like stuff like you know it's club music mostly and stuff like that and like you know depending on what type of vibe and the people that you're catering to a lot of your artists and your music but you know the music you guys make it's like it's it's more housey but it's more like for people who just want to just be around the pool and just hang out and this is not like basically the stuff you hear like yeah, I didn't want to beat you over the head with it. It's really to boil the frog, is the term I like to say, where you just don't want to... I also want people, the first time they hear this, to be able to sing along with it. So it's like songs you just forgot. Like, it's not super dug up. It's not something you've never heard before, because then you can't relate to it. I want something that when you play it, you're like, oh my God, I forgot about my favorite song. If I can do that to you, then you can sing along with it the first time you've heard it in the club. So sometimes... It, it's not necessarily the deepest dig, but I'm going for nobody's flipped it this way and it deserves to be listened to by this crowd. It's worth that. If you listen to it this fast or this slow. And also, you know, I just don't want to beat people over the heads with some summer songs. Summer songs is a lot of pools, a lot of chills. You don't want to be dancing at 130 because your heart's going to explode. <laughs> yeah. You're going to do halftime at 65. Yeah, exactly. And I, I, I mean, I've been doing some. You know, I want to shout out some other music that I've been doing. I've been on a various uh, artist compilation coming out in November with uh, Night Child Records, um, Risa Garcia, and New York also. See, it's just everywhere, yeah? We linking up, baby. And uh, it's, again, it's that's more just straight house kind of stuff coming out. Like, it's not edits wise, it's original material. And yeah, we got stuff coming out with Velvet Jones, Theo Motion. Uh, again, I'm trying to work with Chad Brun cooking something up soon from Boston. Um, yeah, man. I see, I see, fam. Out here making moves. Like, how, 
I don't Grand Moxie. Grand Moxie. Yeah, I don't know Grand. I'm trying to have a, um, an alias. What's the name of the alias? Uh, ah, he's going to kill me because I can't remember right now. I'm spacing on the name. But it was funny. It was really funny. The name of, the name of our group was funny. Yeah. Oh, the Queer Base. Wear mint with top tops. Oh man. Oh man. Maybe part of that poppy juice crew? No, poppy juice. There's nothing wrong with it. Then I don't know nothing wrong with it. Like I don't know. I told you we should go to Poppy Juice. And you know what I told him? I don't want to get hit on by guys. Hey. Like, I'm good. Like I'm good. I'm good. I'm off. I work. In a record store on the side. Oh yeah, we got the beats. We, we got the beats. Yeah, I work up, and we sell Cuban links all the time. I got, I got you. Come check me out, yo. But we got some stuff for you, but you know, they're not afraid. They're not afraid up there. Dude, I was, what I was doing, I'm not, I should go up there. Cause it, um, someone told me, man. Dude, so this is this old dude. His name is Jan. He's an elderly gentleman. He has a show here, and he's like based on. Soul. Does he do dub plates? I don't know about There's that. only one Jan. You know what I'm talking about? He's tall and white. You're going to make me pull up the tech. After the show, we're going to talk about this, yo. Yeah. He, he's tall and white and old. Yeah. He's, I'm There's kinda... only one Jan. And it's like, why? I, and I was asking him, like, how do you spell your name? And he was like, well, oh, I don't. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> yo. And he's he put me on Northern Soul. Where, where are you at, Jan? Where's my dub place at? I was trying to cut some records, baby. What, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I was already trying to have these records cut before I went to New York. I'm putting them on blast right now, but dude, did hey, you, did you go digging in New York or now? I I didn't have any time to go digging in New York. I was just so busy. But uh, I, again, I'm trying to be up in October. Everything is going so fast right now. We have a residency at 1-800 Luckies on Sundays. A scooch, a scooch. Um, and other than that, both me and Don work at Coyo as, as resident DJs. I'm at Brickle as Saturdays, and he does every night. He opens up at nine to ten. And Winwood, and uh, yeah, man, we've just been just so busy, you know, like trying to make music, recording with other people, and it's just been going so fast. That I, I, I sometimes, I, also, I work in a record store too, so it's kind of like ah, uh, I have, I just don't even want to fill up my record slots anymore. And I just, I just want to see some chill CDJs. For, for, oh my God, I can't believe I said that on there. <laughs> but yeah, man. Nah, dude, honestly, man. Like, when you start up. shipping Amazon boxes, it becomes another thing. You know? Yo, dude, I'm not a lie, bro. I went to Human Head, and I got this $2 Uther Vandross with, uh, damn. I man. start buying stuff I don't need, right? Dude, I don't care, dude. Like, I, would, I, I specifically went to New York. I'm like, I'm going to DJ one night, which was Friday, and I'm going to dig the whole entire time I was there. And when I was there, I'm like, okay. I, obviously, I told a couple family members I'm going to be there. And when that happens, they tell someone else. So I end up going to New Jersey to see my uncles and stuff like that, which I don't mind. But dude, going to Jersey from Washington Heights, I took a bus. Like, oh, yeah. I'm just sitting on the bus on the way home. Like, how am I gonna send these records home? Dude, I didn't buy. This is the thing. Carry all these dude, to this my is, house. dude, this is what I did. Dude. I asked for a box when I was there. Oh, and you just and then you have Shane, Amazon bubble wrap it and send this to you. <laughs> dude, especially the Fania ones that I showed you. Uh, the Emerson? Oh, the, oh, the 45s. The 45s? Dude, I ended up just like carrying with this me like the whole entire time. Oh. Because I don't want to lose these. I'm like, no, <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not going to lose these because I got like three Hector Laveaux and I got a couple Louis Colognes and I'm like, yo, I'm not going to. Louis Colon. Mm. Let me not like lose my accent on this one. And Hector Laveaux. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it was great, man. I love New York and honestly, like, I'm always going to, I'm always going to try to dig in Miami for records, but I'm just going to, next time, I'm just going to save up. I went to this one place that I think it was just called Tapes and Records or something like that, and they just had it just like, just on the floor, just like a pile. It looked like screwed. Was it not? Nah, who's the dude who had the big? What what duck was it that jumped in the pile of gold? Scrooge McDuck. I was Scrooge. His gold piles, but just tapes and records, just like, just dig in, buddy. I'm not. I'm not off with having that shit. Just take the fuck in. It goes. When you get to that point, I'm like, man, fuck that, dude. It's like, everyone tells me, you're going to do this, make sure, like, not to, you know, wear anything that you feel like you don't want to get dirty. 
Oh my, yo, we at plug in. We got the beef, and we got the beef records. We buy your records, and uh, when we buy some records, man, the state these things like roaches be running out the box. It's like that. It's like that. Okay, these roaches are like you excavated my house out. <laughs> Dude, all right, so we're talking about we got the beats. What's been the craziest collection that you bought from someone? Like you were like, yo, you gonna sell me this? Oh, I don't, I don't know, cause I don't do the. Um, Purchasing. I've seen I've seen some like when he tells me something that's just expensive it's always something that I'm just like oh that's I don't even know what that is and it's usually just something very minor that makes it it's like this is a random Bluey Paul that's never been unwrapped from 1978 and it has one metallic serial gold coin inside making it worth $395 and you're like all right I guess I've never heard of Bluey Paul. I just, you know, like, like who the fuck is that? I just made yo, that up, but that's exactly how I feel. That's yo, what I feel like. Yo, did Yen ever? Fuck is Bluey Paul? Did Yen ever tell you that equation? It's like, look, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, cause it's like this equation now. He was like, oh, uh, get the number of years from this year to this year, and uh, the number of cities. Now multiply that by the number of bands. Now multiply that by the number of singles that could have been made and all that stuff. And he was like, after, after like, no, after the end of the equation. You told me there's like 50 million songs that people have heard. Oh yeah, that always blows my mind how many, how small-minded people's circle of music is when they think they're being eclectic and expansive and you're like, really? You can just be locked, like, you know, like, I... Dude, I'm always gonna learn about music. Right? Yeah, yeah, well, just, yeah, just unreleased songs. Like, I was looking at a Vlad TV Mario interview the other day and he was like, I have all these number one hit songs overseas, and I'm like, you, Mario, all I know you for is like, I want to know what's your name, and if I can, it's your thing, it's your thing. Y'all only know one song from you, two <laughs> songs from you, you know what I'm saying? I know Mario and and Neo wrote your other song. I'm not trying to shit on him, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, I feel you, it's just like. You don't know him any bigger than this. You're like, how are you so. How are you making money? Still? How are you doing this? How are you saying, you know, overseas, you have a whole nother life. They yeah. don't even that powerful. Dude, especially in Japan. Michael Jackson has some of the dopest Tokyo unreleased dropping gems on Lady's Love tonight. Go look it up. Just and there's even live shows where the crowd is singing along with him just in English. And then he's I'm gonna combine shows. Then he just takes off with a jetpack over the crowd. And that's it. That's just it. He's like, Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. Goodbye, baby. King of pop, I'm out, baby. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess, dude, should I drop some drop some heat? Some reddits. Let me yeah. play two of the some reddits for you guys before we get out of here. Yeah, we got like ten minutes. Dude. We can DJ for more. Like, oh, okay, for sure. We can write it out. Um, you want to plug in any social medias right quick? Yeah. Any um, upcoming shows? I know, obviously, you have your residency at Brickle every Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's more about that scooch though. Come out to scooch at uh, one eight hundred Lucky. We got our eyes on Las Rosas. We want to see what's. We want to we want to give it the BBC and <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's Los Negros. What do you you know? Like they want to be dirty. They want to be the new dirty club, and they don't want it. They don't want to play with with the big boys. You know, we want, we like to get dirty too, and we can see what Las Rosas is about. And again, we're gonna try to be up in uh, New York for October Halloween. Um, other than that, I'm an elementary school teacher now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and then I teach music production at South Point Elementary to the little ones. Just yeah, teach one, th- teach one, you know? Yeah, dude. Collect them checks, player. You reach. I teach. There you go, man. <laughs> I like that, dude. Teaching the youth. Yeah, man. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so youths. The youths. <laughs> what dogs survive? The teens are our right right <laughs> And the people think, yo, aren't you Colombian? Like, bitch, I'm Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I say. Because they're Caribbean Colombians, and people think, like, oh, like, Colombian, they're like, what? Like, yeah, dude. And mind you, in New York, everyone thought I was Dominican. Oh, it's, yo, I, 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 there's nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm, um, something at the time, I'm, I'm that. I'm that. Like Michael Jackson said, I just don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> Thank Wait, you. no problem, dude. I love Miami. Dude, you gotta We just gotta energy. just cancel out our last interview. Yeah. Because we said we love New York so much, yeah, but we, we also love, love Miami. Miami. Exactly. Always love Miami. Los Negros is for the children. For the children. <laughs> Use, oh, IG shoutouts. 
Oh, my IG shoutouts. Yeah, I'm sorry. So we got uh, Los Negros Music is basically all of our stuff. Los Negros Music for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, our website where you can buy some of our gear. Because, I mean, I only print out a couple and I give them away. But, you know, it is on the website. And, oh, hit up our YouTube and subscribe Los Negros Music as well. Because we have, you know, videos up there. And our music gets uploaded there too. Our band camp is Los Negros Music. It's all Los Negros Music, making it simple for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, big luck. Now Shane's setting up. Cool. We'll put a couple of sponsor shout outs. Shout out to Pizza and Food. That man is making gold. Mm. Pizza and Food. Oh, yeah. Right here in the heart of Alapala. It's a couple blocks away from the station. Yo, keep this man fed. Go to Pizza and Fuga. Get yourself a nice cheese pizza or a margarita. They got har they got hamburgers and they got tacos. And I think they have a tostone burger now. So, yeah, I don't eat meat anymore, but you know, shout out to the people who do. Can we want to do a couple of social media shout outs right quick? That's right. Check us out on Twitter at Ladies Love MIA. Follow us on Instagram at Ladies Love Radio. And of course, check out this and all our past episodes on our SoundCloud at Ladies Love Radio. Thank you so much for tuning in to Ladies Love Radio. We're going to end it with Shane Shane throwing some jams off the Summer Edit 2 packet of Los Negros. Shane, you got it? So. I always send the vibes. All right, guys, stay wavy. <laughs> I thought it was red pie something. Like, yeah. Too late, baby. <laughs> Interview's over. Right. Like, yeah. I'm gonna get some oysters after this, bro. Oh man. Oysters. Nah, man. John is DJing at the Midway and have dollar oysters over there today. Today in Miami.